Well, um, you know, that team is really, you know, Nash was really, I thought Nash was a great coach when he was coaching Talking Tex. And uh, I was always impressed by the way his teams were prepared and the way they read the defense. Uh, they read our defense really, really well. And, and, and uh, we had a hard time, especially obviously second half. You know, they came out and did, uh, did to Northport the same thing they did to us. They had a big third quarter. I think against Northport, they had like 41. And against us, they had 39. So, uh, um, but I'm just really impressed in the way they read the defense uh, and they react really well. Uh, made the right passes. Um, we were scrambling most of the night. Um, we're try still trying to get a handle on our, and our, on our, on our schemes and, and techniques. Um, you know, we haven't done them for six months, so uh, we're not quite on the same page. But that stuff will come. It'll come, I think, as, as, as we go forward. Uh, we get a little bit more practice time. Um, we get L.A. back into the lineup, you know, fully. Um, you know, he's such a huge part of what we do. And, and uh, um, you know, he just got to keep conditioning, conditioning until he can get back and be, be ready to go. Um, so... <clears throat> Uh, we knew it was going to be tough. We know every game is going to be tough here because we're not at, at our best, but we're still playing extremely hard. Uh, we're still getting up and down the floor. We're still defending the best we can, but we still think that we have room to grow and get better. And, uh, um, you know, our team is all about habits. And, you know, we just don't have the habits after a layoff of six months. So, but again, I think those things will come. Uh, but, you know, better to be two and zero than one and one at this point. Um, again, we had guys step up. <clears throat> uh, Prince played well. Uh, you know, <clears throat> we, uh, we knew from day one when we got Prince that, that he could shoot the ball. That's never been his problem. He could always, always shoot the ball. And uh, he's always been a good three-point shooter. And he's continued to work on it. He's gotten to be even better. And he's, he's pretty much lights out from the three at this point. But see, he knows and we know he still has a lot of areas of his game that he's still trying to work on. Uh, the defensive side, uh, the, the ball handling side, uh, get, learning to get position. Um, there's still a lot to grow in his game. It, it's kind of exciting because we know he can get better. Um, but, you know, he's still, he's still working on other parts of his game. But the fact that he's shooting well is no surprise to us at all. Might be a surprise to everybody else, but we see him in practice every day. Um, we didn't play a clean game today at all, but again, I, I just thought we battled and, you know, we showed character and that's what we want to be. That we, that's what we want to represent us. We, we, I, I'd like to think that we don't really, we're not there to play pretty and, and make great plays. We're there to win basketball games. And I, I, I like the fact that our players are taking hold of that and we can play a, a game that's not pretty and still win it. And usually teams that can do that have chance to win championships. So, and that's what we're shooting for. Again, Coach Tim, congratulations on the win. Um, just a quick question. Uh, Prince Capital, all of last season, scored a total of 41 points for, for your squad. In the first two games here in the Philippine Cup, already has 35. Can you just walk us through how impressed you are with his ability to step in and fill those minutes now that you need him to play more? Well, yeah, like I was saying earlier, you know, we, we know Prince can score. And if you don't get a hand up on him, he's going to knock shots down. I mean, we just we know that from practice every day. So, again, that part of the game is not surprising us at all. It's just a matter of opportunity for him. And with Greg not in the lineup, you remember, he was backing up Greg and Japheth, you know. Um, uh, you know, he is a, a center by trade. He's not normally a power forward. So he was playing against behind two centers, a Japheth and a, and a Greg. So he wasn't getting much time. Now with Greg not in here, he's getting an opportunity to show what he can do. And again, he's doing the things in the games that he does in practice. Um, and like I said, that doesn't surprise us. I, I, I said it might surprise everybody else, but it doesn't surprise us. But there's still a lot of holes in his game on the rebounding side, on the defensive side, that he's really working hard on. And uh, once he gets those things down, and, and Prince is a hard worker, one of our hardest workers. 
he had the misfortune of living in the same building with Coach Kirk. It was really a misfortune because Coach Kirk made him work out every day during the pandemic. Poor guy, he was like every day, Coach Kirk, uh, come on, Prince, let's go to work. <laughs> it was really, really hard on him, but it, it, it made him better. And uh, he's got a better body, he's stronger. And uh, uh, I don't know, we, you know, and he's also just a great, great guy. Everybody loves Prince. He's, he's a super guy on the team. So we're all happy for his success. We expect it to continue. And, uh, um, and we expect him to continue to grow the other parts of his game. Thank you, Coach. Any questions from our in-house media? If there are none, let's move on to our media from our Zoom session, welcoming uh, from PBA Rush, Sir Ray Hoble. Hi, Coach. Good evening. Congratulations. Uh, Hi. Uh, Coach, uh, the last time we spoke, uh, you told me that uh, it's really hard to find something enjoyable, especially when you are confined in your room, right? But uh, right now, aside from your team's 2-0 record, what are the enjoyable things you've seen there in the bubble? Well, I think hanging out with the team, you know, I mean, getting, just getting back to basketball is so cool. Um, but also, you know, hanging out with the team, um, getting back to practice. You know, like I've always said, I'm a practice coach. I love practices. I'm not that keen on games, but I love practices. And uh, um, so getting back to that is, is nice. You know, the workouts we have in the gym together, the workouts we have in the pool together is, is great. And, uh, um, you know, it's just, just being around, you know, running into other coaches, running into other players. I was with JoJo this morning for an hour as we, you know, we're walking around doing a, a walk today with JoJo and reconnecting with JoJo was great. So there's a lot of good things going on. I mean, it, it's tough. I mean, uh, you know, especially for guys that have roommates, you know, it's hard to live with somebody you don't know for two and a half months. You know, you know how it is. You're married. It's hard to live when you're married for two and a half months, much less a, a stranger, another guy. So, you know, there are some challenges here, no doubt about it. But there's also a lot of good things going on. And, and most of it's about the basketball, no doubt. Thank you. Final question will be from Sir Ruben Terrado, Swindapiage. Coach, um, Another player that I think has been stepping up, I coach, is uh, Jared Dillinger. So how we see right now, uh, we know we all know that he has been ha having health issues last year. But how we see uh, health wise, and what can you say about this game so far, this conference? Well, we're trying to be smart with Jared. We know he's had you know injury, serious injury issues in the, in the past. The same thing we you know we we we've, we've dealt with that with Art. Um, we had to be a little careful with Stanley because of you know he had a he had a bad knee at the end of the last conference. Um, right now we're being careful with LA, so you know it, we're kind of experienced in that. And uh, I, I really love our training staff and what they do to get our guys ready. Jared seems to be in a really good place physically. Um, the only thing he struggles right now is the 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 small complexities that we have defensively, um, trying to get you know. How to use a how do you, how to defend a ball screen in our way and how to change it in the middle of the game stuff like that that he's not used to doing, um, and uh, but you know he he brings so much uh, energy and 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 leadership that uh, he's just invaluable. He's a high high character guy, and uh, all the pre oh, everybody loves him. So he's another guy that everybody loves and. Uh, so, you know, like I said, he's in a really, really good place at this point uh, physically. And we're hoping to keep it that way. Thank you for watching. Click the subscribe button and ring the bell to be notified with our latest videos.